So, what we're gonna do first is turn my clickers all the way out. Then we're gonna take the top cap off. This is just a 50 mil. We'll see if this one's too loose <laughs> or very loose. The uh, first one was actually really loose. Yep, yep. I can literally just spin this off holding it in my hand, like no vice grips or anything. I've tightened it down tighter as I put these back. Cause that, I don't like that. I mean, it's got a lot of threads on there, but I don't like it. down and there's the inside of our fork we got this lock nut up here and we just need to spin it off to get the cap off and you can get the fork out and move on so should be a 17 you know kind of Squeeze up there between your between your fork springs. Lefty Lucy. And it helps if I use the 50 millimeter side. We do it in the garage. Just get a little bit of fork fluid. Now that I broke that, I'm literally just holding it with my thumb and spinning things off. did see is the rebound adjuster up at the top so when you take this cap off be very careful that guy that guy right there this guy rebound adjuster is a very tiny piece and I'll show you where it goes here so we have this washer that's literally it the washer on top goes right into that cap and now we're in our fork but I want to show you this cap really quick That's how sticky my seals are. Just won't fall down. All right. I don't know if you can see, but that's the rebound adjuster. It just has a little notch. This notch matches up in there. So that literally sits up in there. And this is threaded, which 
there's also threads on the inside of our rod where that this threads down into it and prevents oil from squirting up there as fast. It's interesting. It's such a simple <laughs> thing. But it is kind of a pain in the ass to make sure to get that back in there right. Because it sits up in the cap. It took me about three or four tries on the first fork. Alright. Fork spring. And out of curiosity, this is set at 340. It should be sucking a bunch of or it shouldn't suck anything. Yep. So they set these at about 140 millimeters down. I'm sorry, I said 340. 130. 130 millimeters for this is what I set my other fork to. Put a little more oil in it to make it a little less plush. But anyway, probably about the same in this guy. It's over 130. So then if we pour this out, my other stuff was kind of junky. That's not as bad. Here's my rod. It's got a pointy on the end. And now the reason we keep the garage closed, because it looks like I'm jerking off my fork. Rebound with this thing. I actually just put it back in there. All right, fork seals. They are, as far as I can tell, identical to most other bikes. Your seal off like normal. I had kind of a hell of a time with this snap ring. Or this, uh, whatever. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. <laughs> I made that a lot harder than it needed to be. All right, so now it's the slide hammer fun. But, garage has been cold and I don't know how useful this is, but I did see in the Rocky Mountain video on the forks with the little thingy right here. Heat this stuff up. So I'm just gonna put it in front of my heater for a few minutes. Slide hammer. There we go. Seals out. A few more hammers for the bushing. And bada boom. And So that's what you have on here. Two bushings, this washer, seal, uh, clip, and dust seal. It's a nice easy one to get off, you just pry it. As far as I'm aware, these run on the outside. So that's where you're looking for the Teflon coating to be good. And that looks fine to me. And we got the lower one. This one runs on the inside though. So if you look at the inside, doesn't look too bad to me. So up goes down. Washer. Seal. I'm just going to take it off here because I don't care if I scratch it. So we got our lip. Lip. And the seal. There's that. So, I gotta clean things up. Put my new SKF 48 millimeter WP seals on here. And it's a matter of hammering that seal back in, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I always hate doing it. And then just refilling the oil and putting things back together. But everything's very, very, quite, quite simple as far as the disassembly and reassembly. There's nothing too outlandish here. It's more just the pain of working on forks and dealing with things. <laughs> 